So for this one, I've, I've been asking audiences um, if anyone has heard of the term vaginismus. So can you give me a cheer if you've heard of vaginismus? Woo! Um, so yeah, there's, um, I've also been recommending a play that's on. There's been a couple of plays um, about this topic. Uh, one uh, which I, I think was at the Fringe last year called Ad Libido and one uh, this year called Have I Told You I'm Writing a Play About My Vagina. Um, if you don't know what it is, this poem you'll kind of get a sense of it, it, uh, what it is. It's kind of like a, a mixture of like a psychological and um, physical um, thing that happens, except sometimes it's called Total Eclipse. Before my first time I was cut on the surgeon's table, I was a total eclipse. A moon of flesh darkening those days when I didn't know how to measure the distance between friendships. And I thought I wanted it when I just wanted to be loved. Just liked how small I felt against his chest. I thought the sun would shine more once the bleeding stopped, but mostly I slept stretched, diagonally in my double bed. Only occasionally visitors invited in. Even years later, I still feel the pain needs smooth liquid to ease it, better tease it, so damn hard to please. Full of apologies, on my knees, wishing I could be selfish. A giant eccentric narrative where the moon never casts shadow over my light. Night and day, I'm meant to dilate myself with glass or plastic objects, but it makes the act feel clinical. The doctor prescribed me a glass of wine. But I don't know how to relax when it all feels so detached. I found out the climax comes from the clitoris, something more likely picked up from magazines than from classrooms, as if orgasms were drugs we should say no to. After the cut, they didn't follow it up, and so I used alcohol as lubricant. Lost my inhibitions along with my memory, and when sober, my mind is so occupied with dysmorphia and dates and things to do that this bed becomes a war zone. He says to relax, to focus on me. But in these sheets, I make him my protagonist. Cover my stomach with arms, squeeze my shape into something more suitable. Begin to envy his body.